And the advent of series production electric vehicles and major advances in the energy density of battery packs and electric motors means that most ground up electric vehicles already on the market or coming to market keep their battery packs and power electronics low down in their own chassis. The result is that these vehicles often have a deceptively large load base space in the rear of the vehicle and sometimes even in the front, the front trunk or frunk as made famous by Tesla and its Model S. And while the new normal of electric vehicle design technically means there's no need at all for a front hood, front trunk, or indeed anything forward of the passenger cabin, only a few companies have seriously appeared to consider such a design. We like our front trunks, what can I say? Indeed, only vehicles like the canoe modular vehicle and fully autonomous robo taxis that are never designed to be driven by a human seem to embrace this hoodless design. But for other automakers, the hood area is a place that can be used for storage. The place that once stored suck, squeeze, bang, blow can store your camping gear. But US startup Bollinger has gone one step further. You'll see its B1 and B2 electric SUT and pickup feature a special door in the bulkhead from the front trunk into the cabin. And then there's another one from the cabin into the load bay area or pickup bed at the rear, depending on the vehicle. That, ve that feature, fuck. That feature, called the pass-through, allows you to load something that's 13 feet long in the case of the B1 SUT and 16 feet long in the case of the B2 pickup without actually requiring anything to hang outside the vehicle. And now Bollinger has confirmed it's received an official patent for this particular feature. In a press release from earlier today, the company says it's been granted patents for both the pass-through door and its ability to be opened from both inside and outside the cabin, as well as something called the frunk gate, a fold-down portion of the front of the vehicle. The frunk gate operates in a similar fashion to a traditional pickup tailgate and allows longer items to be loaded and carried with ease without having to lift the frunk up. Because the front gate is located where the radiator on a traditional internal combustion engine vehicle would be, this setup is again only possible because of the skateboard design that is now becoming de rigueur in the electric vehicle marketplace. But what does this mean for Bollinger? Well, it means, that, for now at least, that it's the only automaker that can use the specific pass-through and front gate design to enable larger items to be carried in an electric vehicle. I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually had a chance to read the final patent myself. I've been looking for it, but it doesn't appear in my patent search tool yet, which I'm assuming is because I'm writing and filming this video on embargo just before the announcement goes public so that the video can be published shortly thereafter. I'm assuming that the patent will give Bollinger a bit of an advantage over rival companies, though, in the utility truck marketplace. Which brings me to a question I'm sure many of you have. Why not follow Tesla's lead and make patents more open for all to use in the electric vehicle marketplace? After all, I suspect many of you will say, Tesla does that, why not Bollinger too? Well, it's a little bit complicated. At the same point in its history, Tesla also collected patents to protect its IP like other companies. It's conceivable that at some point in the future, Bollinger might follow Tesla's lead. Who am I to say? But right now, as a startup getting itself set up in the world, its pass-through design is useful to patent as it could potentially allow the company to license that patent to other automakers looking to achieve a similar thing. For Bollinger, that could be a great secondary source of income. And for now, at least for a short while, it looks like if you want a vehicle to carry long things that are almost as long as the vehicle itself, which probably means you're a tradesperson, well, Bollinger is the way to go. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. And you can support us using the links below. I'd like to say thanks to the folks scrolling by on my right. There are charged up patrons. They make these videos possible. So too to Jeffrey Songster, John Lyons and Ray Jean Fellows, who are our self-driving patrons. And special thanks to our Starman level patrons. That's the top spec, Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, JP Fagerback and Sean Udea. If you're looking for something else to watch from the channel, Google thinks you probably are going to enjoy that one. So check it out if you haven't. And I'll be back soon with more great content for you all to enjoy. Until next time, wash your hands, stay safe and work to become a better, kinder person. Strive for equality and treat others as you'd like to be treated yourself. Keep evolving.